In my previous video, I talked about how long fish can live without oxygen. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to have a look at it to get a better background on the topic. Now this video I am specifically making about how long fish can live without a filter or how long they can live without an air pump. So let's get into it without further ado. Here's how long a fish can live without filter. As a general rule, if the tank has no other oxygenation source, fish can only live about 1 to 2 days at maximum unless they can survive without any oxygenation. There are some fish like betas that can survive without an oxygenation source. I talked more about this in my previous video so you can watch it later on. However, if an air pump is present that ensures adequate oxygenation in the tank all the time, then the case is a bit different and fish can survive a long time in such a situation. Before discussing much on this topic, I would like to quickly refresh your concepts about air pump and filter. An air pump is a device that provides airflow to the tank system through an air stone. An air pump can also be used to run a sponge filter. Air pump's sole purpose is to provide air to the tank system. An air pump never cleans the tank. It only acts as an aeration and ultimately as an oxygenation source. On the other hand, the filter primarily, just as its name suggests, does the job of filtering fish wastes and other dirt from the aquarium water. However, if it can create surface agitation, which is nothing but water movement at the surface, it also performs the role of oxygenation in the tank. Remember, there is no magic formula and manual maintenance is needed even with filters. Now here I am sharing with you all the possible combinations of filter and air pump and their effect on the life of fish. Please note that here I have assumed the filter helps in oxygenation by any kind of surface water movement. Listen to the cases carefully and try to imagine and relate them to your own scenario. I am very hopeful that your all doubts will be cleared by listening this all the cases. Case 1. When the filter is not running at all but the air pump is running all the time 24 by 7. Then the life of fish should be normal. Since oxygenation is present, fish can live. The only issue is that the tank parameters can be hard to maintain since there is no filter to clean up the waste. Case 2. When filter runs only partially, maybe for few hours a day, but the air pump is running all the time 24 by 7, then the life of fish should be normal. Since oxygenation is present, fish can live. This combination is actually good for those who don't like to keep the filter on all the time for reasons like not stressing out the fish with a heavy water flow of filter. Case 3, when filter is running all the time 24 by 7 and the air pump is also running all the time 24 by 7, then as you might have guessed already, the life of fish should be normal. This is in fact the ideal setup. Enough oxygenation is ensured. Also, one can maintain tank water quality and cleanliness easily. Case 4, when filter is running all the time 24 by 7 but the air pump runs only partially for a few hours a day, then the life of fish should be normal. Unless the fish is stressed by heavy water flow of the filter, which runs all the time, everything should go normal. Case 5. When filter is running all the time 24 by 7, but the air pump is not running at all, then the life of fish should be normal. Once again, unless the fish is stressed by the heavy water flow of the filter all the time, everything should go normal. Case 6. Finally, when the filter is not running at all and the air pump is also not running at all, it is problematic unless the fish can tolerate the situation. This case usually happens when there is a power cut or if you have already decided to deliberately keep your fish without any oxygenation source. Unless fish can live without oxygenation, there will be problems and the fish may start gasping. Now, I will be answering some of the common questions that you could be having in your mind. So let's start. Can I leave my fish without a filter for a day? You can surely leave if the fish tank has an air pump connection that constantly helps in aeration and oxygenation. However, if there is no oxygenation source, it is good to set up a battery run air pump to keep the aeration going on in the tank. By the way, you can check out my recommended product links in the description box below. Those will be affiliate links, so I will get paid when you purchase through those links. But I only suggest items that I think are the best and could be helpful to you, so feel free to check them out. How long can fish live without an air pump? If the fish tank has no other oxygenation source, fish can live only about 1 to 2 days without an air pump. However, if there are filters that provide enough oxygenation for the tank, an air pump is not necessary. See, air pump is just a device that is connected to an electrical source. When you turn on the power, 
just as its name suggests it functions to pump air into the tank system through the airline tubes the air pump can either pump to a filter for example a sponge filter or an air stone or bubbler also it can pump air to both simultaneously depending on how you set it up i already made a video on the complete setup of air pump with air stone and sponge filter you can watch it if you are interested now here is the interesting thing if there is a filter in the tank that is enough to provide oxygenation and you keep it running 24 by 7 you don't even need an air pump for instance if you have a top filter and a power head setup in your tank and if the power head generates enough surface agitation and ensures proper oxygenation in the tank you don't require any air pump so i hope you got the idea now moving on to the next question what to do when the filter remains unavailable for a few days if there is no filter never mind have at least an air pump and air stone set up this would be enough to properly oxygenate your tank of course if you have a bigger tank the requirement may be more but that should give you an idea what to do when air pump remains unavailable for a few days so you can try out other tank oxygenation sources when air pump remains unavailable for example you can use a power head a wave maker or a spray bar all the links are in the description box below so anything that can create surface agitation or water movement at the surface will surely help you what to do when we are going out for a vacation okay so when you go out for a vacation you can live without any worry but only if the following conditions are fulfilled first the vacation trip is not too long second you have someone to at least feed and inspect your fish every day who can even report to you if there are any issues third power outages very rarely happen in your area and even if they happen you have an inverter system installed or a battery powered air pump if your family members or neighbors are generous enough to take good care that's great but if not then you can also ask your friends or any pet sitting service for help if available in your locality what to do when a power outage occurs for power outages that occur either due to storms or for general reasons the same precautions as having an inverter or battery powered air pump are advisable however if that is not possible make sure to generate enough water movement surface agitation by any means pour back the water into the tank from a height using a container manually stir the water to create water movement and surface agitation use a battery powered fan or anything like that to create water movement so in short fish can survive without a filter however you must keep the oxygenation source in the tank 24 by 7 on all the time for example you must have at least an air stone running via an air pump all the time in the absence of other oxygenation source in the tank so that's it if you found this video helpful please smash that like button it helps the video to reach more people and if you want more content like this subscribe to my channel as that really motivates me to bring more and more valuable content for you that's it for today see you again in the next video till then have a great day